What's up guys, it's Hero here, and today I got you guys a sword and shield build based around the Royal Rose. This build is mainly focused around poison attack, peak performance, weakness exploit, and wide range. And before you ask, yes, it's a support build. This is the kind of build that will make your friends love you. And if you don't have any friends, well, I feel bad for you and this build probably isn't for you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's go ahead and talk about equipment. The first thing we got to start off with is the weapon. The weapon we're going to be using is the Royal Rose Sword and Shield, which is rarity 7. Base attack starts off at 266, sharpness is a high blue, affinity is at 10%, status is poison at 240. This weapon has one decoration slot and two augmentation slots. Do know that these are the base stats for the weapon. So let's go ahead and move on to the armor. Okay, so now we're on armor. The first thing we're going to start off with is the headpiece, which is the Dragon King Eye Patch Alpha, which gives us a three slotted jewel and it also gives us level two weakness exploit. Next is the chest piece, which is Commission Jacket Beta, which gives us a one slotted jewel and it also gives us level two wide range. After that, we have the arms, which is Rathian Van Braces Alpha, which gives us level two poison attack. Next up is the waist, which is Kolv Teroth's Malice Beta, which gives us free element slash ammo up level one and plus one handicraft and gives us a three slotted jewel and a one slotted jewel and last but not least is tear wrath alpha which gives us level two wide range and level two peak performance in a one slotted jewel now moving on to the charm that we'll be using, which is Handicraft Charm 3, which gives us level 3 Handicraft. On top of that, we'll be using a Temporal Mantle. The other mantle, or maybe even booster that you would like to use, is definitely up to you. It kind of just depends on what you're fighting, in my opinion. But Temporal Mantle, I mean... That just creates easy mode. Why would you not bring that with you, you know? It's just too good to pass up. Like, why would you do that? And last but not least, for the augmentation slots, I recommend two health regain augmentations. Okay, welcome to the decorations part of the video. So for the Royal Rose Sword and Shield, we'll be using a Venom Jewel, which gives us plus one poison attack. For the Dragon King Eye Patch Alpha, we'll be using a Flawless Jewel, which gives us plus one peak performance. Next is the Commission Jacket Beta, we'll be using a Friendship Jewel, which gives us plus one wide range. For the Kolv Teroth's Malice Beta, we'll be using the Tenderizer Jewel 2, which gives us weakness exploit plus one. Now, for the last two one-slotted jewels, you have kind of a choice to make. You can either go with two grinder jewels, which gives you plus one speed sharpening. Overall, you'll have two, which removes two cycles of the sharpening process. Or you can go with the gobbler jewel, which you'll be able to get two, which moderately increases your item usage speed. So if you want to heal your teammates quicker or a little bit faster, that's a way to go. Or if you want to get back into the action when you have to sharpen, the grinder jewel would be for you. Now, by the time you get to this point, all of your skills should look somewhat similar to this. Wide range at level 5, handicraft at level 4, poison attack at level 3, weakness exploit at level 3, peak performance at level 3, speed eating at level 2, and free element slash ammo up at level 1. Now usually I showcase these builds after I've told you how to create the build, but the problem is with the support build, all I think I can really show you is me eating mite seeds or demon drugs and showing buffs happen, or someone gets poisoned and I use a needle berry and they're no longer poisoned, or I heal and their health bar goes up. And the video or montage I try to make for that just wasn't all that interesting. So hopefully you guys are fine with this. If you've never used a support build, this is a really good basic build for you to get and it has a nice status buildup, which is poison. Almost every monster in the game can be poisoned and they get poisoned fairly quickly. And the effectiveness of poison is pretty strong, at least in my opinion. But yeah, that's basically the sword and shield support build that I have currently. There is another variation of this build, which I will showcase in the near future, but there's other builds I'd like to showcase. If you guys enjoy this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you use this build or you're attempting to use this build, let me know down in the comment section below. As usual, Veryu, thank you for helping me out with this build. And for those people who are gonna come to this video and try to make a whole bunch of better builds and be like you could have did the, 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 the honestly just go sliding under a door. Stay frosty guys and there's more to come.